All right, so from previous videos, we understand that the limit as x approaches 0 of the sine of x over x is equal to 1. Right? Well, what if I have something other than that? Let's say I have, I could look at this a little differently. I could say that I have a sign, the limit as x goes to 0, of the sign of 2x over 2x. All right, so this um, what would this particular limit be? Well, I can do substitution, and I can say, well, the 2x is different than what I've seen it before. Let's say that 2x is equal to theta. So wherever I see a 2x, I'm going to replace it with theta. So this is going to be the sine of theta over theta. And over here I have a limit. Now something's going to 0, but it's not x because I've replaced 2x with theta, so that means that x would be theta over 2. So that means theta over 2 is headed to 0. Well, if half of theta is headed to 0, well, that must mean that theta is also headed to 0. Because as theta over 2 gets smaller and smaller and smaller, theta is also getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So this would be 1. Because it's in this particular form of this up here. Well, what if I have the limit? So I'm going to try to generalize here as x goes to 0 of the sine of 3x over 3x. Notice what's inside this sine and what's inside this, what is this denominator, match up. They're identical. And if I do straight substitution, I'm going to get 0 over 0. This is going to be equal to 1 because these are identical. All right. So hopefully you'll see that no matter what I have here, if these are identical and x is going to 0, I'm going to get 1. Well, what if I have the limit as x approaches 0 of 3 sine of x over x. Well, this can be broken up. This is as the limit as x goes to 0 of 3 times the limit as sine of x over x as x goes to 0. The limit of this is 3 because that's a constant. The limit of this again is 1 and I get 3 as my answer. So I'm just going to take 3 times the limit, which is 1. All right, I'm going to go one step further. What if I have this, the limit, as x approaches 0 of the sine of 2x over x? Well, this has to be 2x to make it equal to 1, and it's not. But I can make it 2x if I multiply the numerator by 2 and the denominator by 2. Now what I have is the limit as x approaches 0 of 2 times the limit as x approaches 0 of the sine of 2x over 2x, which is equal to 2 times 1, which is 
2. All right, so the limit as x approaches 0 of the sine of x over 3x. Well, there's a 1 out here, whether I want 1 or not. And I can write that as the sine, sine of x. The sine is x goes to 0 of 1 third times the sine, oops, the limit, cross that out here, the limit, I'm working ahead as x goes to 0, of the sine of x over x. And so I have 1 third times 1, which is 1 third. I'm going to do another problem. The sine, the limit, as x approaches 0 of 2x over 3x. Again, they don't match up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write it this way. I'm going to rewrite it as x approaches 0. And remember, there's this 1 out here. So I have 1 third times the sine of x, 2x, excuse me, over x. Now, what did I do when I had that before? I multiplied this by 2, and I had to multiply this by 2. So now that can be rewritten as the limit as x approaches 0 of 2 thirds times the sine of 2x over 2x. Well, I think you're at a point now where you can see that this is going to be 2 thirds. This is in the form where this is identical, and I get 1, and my answer is 2 thirds.